All right, so to do this assignment that I assigned last week, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open the code, and then I'm going to make my own copy of it by going to File, Duplicate. I'm going to make sure I'm signed in, which I am. Now, first thing I need to do is I need to um, take a look at it. So one of the first things I want to do is make my text bigger and maybe bolder, maybe make it a color so that it can be interesting. So uh, I'm not sure how to do that, so I'm going to go to the Reference. And then in the Reference, I'm going to go to the Typography section. And then I'm going to see that these are all of my text functions. So text size is a thing. So I'm going to use text size to make the text bigger. Now, I want any text in here to be the same size, so I'm going to do text size in the setup because I only need to declare text size one time. I'm going to try 20 just to see what it looks like. Oh, that's 200. And we'll... Uh, I like that. That's good. Now, I want to do it. Uh, change the color. So, is there a text color? There is not a text color function. Hmm. So, I wonder if it uses the same stroke and or fill. So, let's try stroke and see what we see. I'm going to make a red ish color. Oh, I don't know why I put, decided to put it on that line. I will remove it from there and put it on this line. All right, so now when I run it, all right, so that's just the outline. So if I wanted the same color for my fill, I would do, and now I know that it uses both stroke and fill. But if I want the ball to be a different color, then I can't do that. Can You know what? I'm going to make the stroke black. I'm going to leave the stroke black. That's fine. No, it's not. Um, sorry about that. I'm trying to do an undo and it opened a new tab. Interesting. So I'm going to come back in here. We're going to put that back. It's just not a great color. So let's darken it up a bit. And see if I like that any better. Yeah, good enough. All right, but I want the ball to be a different color than the text. So I'm going to grab these two lines, and rather than do them in setup, I'm going to do them right before score, right before the text command, so that I can make the text that color. And the ball, I want the ball to be blue. So we'll do zero. We'll give it a little green in there. And we'll give it some blue. All right, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Oh, I still have that same stroke, so I'm going to set my stroke for my ball to be the same, and I don't know why it keeps doing that to me. I will move it to the correct line in just a second. I've noticed that sometimes, for some reason, P5, when I hit Enter, goes to the beginning of the line rather than going to the next line. i got to pay better attention. All right, so now I've got a ball, and I've got my score in different colors. It's fine. Not pretty, but I can tweak that later. So that's that's the first thing. And the next thing I got to do is make it so that when I tap the ball, the score increases. And to do that, I've already got this down here. I need to do something so that the score gets bigger. So how do I make the score get bigger? Well, I do it the same way I make anything get bigger. So right here, we're making X get bigger by adding something to X. I can make the score get bigger by adding something to score. So if I write score gets score plus one, now as I click the ball, the score will go up by one. Every time I click it, click, click. Now if I click somewhere else, no, no, no increase. All right, so now I can increase the score. And again, the, the number is changing there because the score variable is right here in the text line. So we're printing the text score equals, and then we're adding to the end of that string of text a variable. OK? Not so bad. So now, but this is a kind of a boring game, isn't it? So back in the day when I was young, video games mostly got harder and faster until you just died. So how do we make this get harder and faster? 
Hmm. Well, just like I increased the score, I could also increase the speed. Interesting. So I could go speed gets speed plus one. And then every time I hit it, this, see how it got a little faster? And now it got faster and faster. And it got faster, faster. Oh my gosh, it's going to get too fast. Like I'm not going to be able to hit it much faster. See, I keep missing now. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's not so bad, right? So now it's getting faster, but I still have no way for the game to end. So how do we do that? So now we need to keep track of what happens when I miss, right? So I could have it so that the score decreases, but then how does the game end? I still don't have a way for the game to end. So what I might do is I might create a new variable for the number of lives that you have. And so every time you miss, your lives might go down. That might be one way to do it. So I might say lives gets three, so you get three misses. And then I should probably print that on the screen so I know if I'm gonna lose or not. So just like I print score, I might go text lives equals plus lives comma 200 comma 30. Bam. Now when I run it, wait, oh, it's right on top of it. How do I move it over? I want to move it over. Well, what do these parameters do again? So we have, uh, this is the X position and this is the Y position. So I want them on the same Y, but I need them on different X's. So if I make this, I don't know, 300. There we go. And now it's moved over. So now when I click it, the score increases. And when I miss it, nothing happens to my lives. How come my lives aren't decreasing? So, because I didn't tell my lives to decrease. So how do I tell my lives to decrease? So this is, I clicked the mouse. So if I hit it, this should happen. If I missed it, this should happen. All right, so let's make lives go down. Lives gets lives minus one. So now when I click it, it gets faster. And if I miss, ooh, I lost a life. Oop, I lost another life. Oh, I lost another life. Oh, I keep losing lives. And my game still doesn't end, but at least I'm closer, right? So what, do I, what am I going to need to make the game end? That's the next thing we need to think about. So for that, I'm going to need another if statement, right? So I'm going to need another if statement. Um, not so bad. So what I need to do is say all of this happens as long as my lives are still above zero, right? So let's go ahead and stop that for now. Um, so how am I going to do that? So that's the next piece. So I want you to think about that and add that if you haven't already done so.